Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Katrina, and today we are going to be analyzing the Nintendo Direct for Animal Crossing New Horizons that aired yesterday, February 20th, um, 2020. This is a long video. As you can see, we are in for about 27 minutes, so I, I'm going to be pausing a lot. I'm going to be analyzing this it's gonna be a long video but i hope you guys are excited as excited as i am um but yeah so as a quick disclaimer i just want to let you all know that my editing skills are well below average um <laughs> so if this video is pretty rough there's gonna be a lot of pausing a lot of analyzing a lot of like looking for different things tiny details um, reviewing some things that the internet has already covered. Um, but I, yeah, it's, I'm sorry. I am both poor and untalented. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, Tom Nook. I love this view every single time. And and you know they say that it's not actual gameplay, but honestly, um it's pretty close. It's pretty close to what the actual gameplay looks like when they go through the overview panels, um the panoramic shots. All right. So, there are three parts just like Tom Nook is saying, um and part 1 covers just like what we already know um, and then part two covers new information which is very exciting and then part three is just some frequently asked questions that we may or may not skip over thank you for choosing the no, uh, Island getaway no thank you this is one trip that we look at those no new flowers I think those confidence. are poppy seeds I love the terrain in this game where it's the little things that count. and then Okay, is it just me, or does anybody else look for perfect fruit in the shots that they give us? I am always looking. Oh, there's Bob! Since we're nearing departure, it's high time we detail the many features and perks. Yes, yes it is high time that you detailed the perks and details and everything. Look at those coconut trees. Upon arrival at the local airport, welcome to your new horizons. It's so cute. And the plain colors, and I just, I love that this. Oh my god. I, I honestly. Ooh, okay, so we're gonna pause here. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna pause here because I was so, so excited to see um, that you were able to choose your own island. I freaked out I freaked out I just I I went ballistic and the fact that you have um multiple oh my god waterfall starts here um I will get back, we'll get back to that later don't you worry um and that it shows you just where the resident services center is going to be and where the dodo airlines um place is going to be and the bluffs the bluffs over here and then just like the backdrop of of more like rocks i okay rocks are incredible um when when you're excited about rocks you know that this game franchise is fantastic and they're amazing um let's see i just look at look at how many offshoots for the waterfall and then they blend in together with a river and then um this one has two and okay <sighs> i just you have the option of like a sideways waterfall and a down and a and a, a north south facing facing waterfall oh my god okay <sighs> okay we're, we're gonna continue from a wide range of options mm -hmm. Would you like to live in the northern hemisphere? Yes, we live in the northern hemisphere. Don't worry. No matter what you choose, you'll experience all that the four seasons have to offer right from your island. Yeah, you can't have 
Christmas with summer um, weather. That's weird. I'm sorry, Australia and everybody else who lives in the Southern Hemisphere, the Philippines. I'm sorry. Uh, it's so beautiful. Okay, wait a second. Stop. Stop, stop. No, stop. Wait. No, go back. Okay. This is a new elephant that has been covered by other people. I don't know who this person is, but he's kind of cute. I don't like elephants um, in the game. They, they don't make me happy. Their face shape is weird, and I kind of only really liked um, the mammoth guy, and I, I don't even remember what his name was. Manny? I don't know. He was really cute. I've only had him in my village maybe like one time. Also, these lamps are new. I haven't seen them before unless they're in Animal Crossing Pocket Camp um, as a new item. This sushi set is amazing. And I just love that you have accessories and like cute dresses with cardigans. And look at the shoes. And look at her sitting. And he's sitting on the floor. He's sitting on the floor. Not even on like a little bench or a stump or a rock. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, continue. Slow. You'll see a wealth of lush oh, look at that beetle. Pleasure trove of bugs Again, always looking for perfect fruit. Because they haven't showcased it yet. Now, my favorite part about this is the mushrooms. No, okay, stop, stop, stop. No, go back. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm using my, I'm using my keyboard to, to stop it because I'm not quick enough with my mouse. Um, and so you're probably going to hear that in the background. But look at this tree stump with the mushrooms. Okay, uh, this was in a screenshot that I think was leaked. At least, if not this exact scenario, this um, pizza oven has been featured quite a few times in some screenshots that have been leaked by Nintendo. You have piles of leaves. You have mushrooms. You have a stone uh, just, the, just to sit on. Um, yep. Okay, and then the, <laughs> the bales of hay in the back. Those are those are not new, but we'll, you know what? I just, I love it. Oh, and then the differently colored um, textures and the leaves. And uh, I, I love this game so much, guys. Okay, continue, continue, continue. To you, from uh -huh. collecting seeds uh -huh. and mushrooms to gathering autumn leaves. Okay, I'm just, I'm... Fall and winter are my favorite seasons. I live in Florida. I used to live up north um, with my family. And just being able to visit wintertime in this game and fall where the air is like crisp and beautiful and it's cold and you can wear sweaters and comfy, cozy things like scarves and boots and warm, fuzzy socks and mittens and <sighs> guys. I love this game. And in winter, oh, and then winter, just as I was talking about. Okay, pine trees. These are my favorite. I love pine trees. Look how beautiful they are. They look like green ice cream cones. They're so cute. And I love these. I think they're poppies. I'm not good at flowers. I don't have a green thumb. I... I've tried to grow several things in my garden in the back, and I just, I'm not good at it. Um, okay, keep going. With chilly snowscape, the usual winter activities are a jolly good time. And okay, snowman confirmed. Out. And the Aurora Borealis is fantastic. Um, okay, give me a second here. Hang on. I don't know if this has ever been covered, um, but do you see this bonfire that's going on over here? And then do you see this tiny fire right here? That tiny fire looks like it's dying. It looks like these fires, are they timed? Do they have an expiration? Um, do they, I mean, not expiration, do they extinguish themselves after a certain amount of time? <sighs> Heavy breathing, okay. It's particularly spectacular it's so this time beautiful. Of year. As you can see, when the seasons change, the activities available. I love the flower crowns. Okay, whoa, 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 no, 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 you are not doing that to me. 
When the seasons change, okay. Nope. Wait, hang on. Right there. Right there. Do you see these? Do you see these gigantic shells? What? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that if if this video is very very loud, I have no control over the volume of my voice being so close. But look at this sand dollar table with this coconut drink. I don't know who this bear is, but it looks like um we're at a nudist beach. Oh no no, I can see clothing, but it's I mean the um, look at the toe beans. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, okay. Oh, all right. And I love that he's barefoot. Look at his little tiny feet. I mean, you can kind of see the indentation indentation of toes, but oh, so cute. All right, here we go. Along with them. And can we talk but about how inclusive um, New Horizons is? Because like, okay, well, hang on. Hang on, wait. <laughs> I wanted to talk about, okay. Well, I guess this is a good example. Like, look at her skin tone. You don't have to be um, out in the sun all day in order to get a tan or darker skin. <sighs> and you can just be that way. I love it. And then you can put clothes on your little snowman. And then this toy box is cute. I haven't seen that before. I love this tiny Christmas tree. Um, and there's a sculpture in the back. And then there's like a weird abominable snowman type gorilla. I hate gorillas. Gorillas are yucky um okay continue a new life. Oh, Christmas is my favorite. <gasps> and then yes I words cannot express to you the scream squawk that came out of my mouth when I found out that this was the way that you start off so after um I guess a little orientation of where you get to pick your um, island and the way that it's laid out you come out with two starting villagers which is not a lot because in Animal Crossing New Leaf you got to start off with um, five villagers plus Isabel and then you go to the resident services area and then with Cherry and I think Elmer you can get your own tent this is this feature made me so happy where you could actually see the grid of where you are going to be putting your house down and the fact that you get to choose where the animals live it oh my god i'm sure you all know what that means you can actually build community centers and like actual um neighborhoods instead of them just plopping themselves down on top of your beautiful pile of flowers <sighs> yep okay resident services again another thing so we're going to be very familiar with tom nook and his little family um providing residents with services such as the sale okay so we've already goods. known about this we're selling um unwanted, unwanted, unwanted stuff items. weeds mm, there's a joke there somewhere um <laughs> about living on a deserted island yep living on a deserted island more crafting um just kind of to derail a little bit and to let the video play i actually didn't start off with the original animal crossing games on the gamecube or um the uh, this is a Game Boy Advance or D I, I can't remember whatever Wild World was or the um whatever the version was on the Wii because I never had a Wii and then it was way too late for me to grab um Wild World because I don't know but the first time I'd ever heard of Animal Croft Animal Croft crafting Animal Crossing um New Leaf okay hang on. this sign right here of this little oops, not that this adorable sign of an animal is it the like is that cats are welcome cats are not welcome what i was very confused but again i'm looking for perfect fruit and they haven't shown me my perfect fruit yet all they show me is these apples that don't have perfection in them and i want to know what the perfect fruit looks like that's what I'm here for. I'm here for perfect apples and perfect peaches and perfect pears because I don't like what they did to my pears. Ugh. 
Okay. Drinking my coffee. Let's go. Um, yeah. So I, my first official game where I actually played through was Animal Crossing New Leaf. So and that's the end of that story. Mm -hmm. experience with DIY crafting? And then broadcasting is a new thing that's happening. I think it's like Isabel's announcement to you before you go into the game of New Leaf, where you get to kind of get a rundown of what is actually happening in your town if somebody moves away, if there's an event. And I love that you have patterns now and that you can put your own patterns on there. Um, now, when you draw stuff, it does still look pixelated, but it looks like they smooth it out when it's actually in world for gaming. Okay, the airport. Dodo Airlines is so adorable. Um, not that I would assume that people wouldn't know about this, but Dodos cannot fly, and they're actually extinct, I believe. Aren't they? A dodo bird yeah because the, the blue-footed booby funny word um is actually in this way okay and then look at the villager the og villager just chilling in the background he has been asleep for like eight months now yep and this makes me happy because you can take pictures like this and make it look beautiful. Oh, you can send messages? Oh, but it costs a little money. It's interesting. 200 bells. It's not terrible. It's like a cowrie shell or something. It's still gift. Ooh, I'm so sorry. I'm still waking up. Like I said earlier, I haven't finished my coffee yet, so I'm in the middle of drinking that while I'm doing this. Special services. It is nighttime and it is beautiful. Oh, I love it. There's your radio and your lamp. Where did you get the cot? That's not how you start off. <laughs> is your specially built you get a nook phone. phone. That's so cute. And I'm pretty sure that you can customize the look of your phone in game. <laughs> Special services to island. Yep. Okay. So this is the broadcast that I was talking about earlier with Tom Nook, and he gets to tell you all about um, what is going on on the island, events, um, birthdays. I think. Yeah. Since this is likely oh, I love the first those time bluffs. for deserted islands, we're offering guidance Special and services. inspiration through the Nook Mileage Program. Nook Mileage. And I'm still a little fuzzy on this. In some activities and you're in need of some recommendations. Okay. It's kind of like the meow points. I, I can't remember what they're called. Meow meow points. It shows you how long it's been since I've played um, New Leaf, but still excited for this. All right. Mm. The miles you save up can be used to pay off the cost of the getaway package. Interesting. Or they can eventually be exchanged for in-game rewards at the Nook Stop Terminal. Your in Nook Western miles services. are able to pay off the price of the range from in-game Nook Inc. merchandise to getaway package. That That's very interesting. Very very cute. Okay, I love this the radial menu. I freaking love it. Miles. Oh, look. I love her hairstyle. Oh, we've seen that hairstyle before, but it's just but remember, the island is very much deserted. And so we'd like to take this opportunity to talk oh. about some possible hitches you might encounter and their solutions. I don't know how you could get this lost though, because you have a map. It's possible that you could encounter Okay, dangerous creatures, insects, yeah. I can scorpions. If I love stung, it. You may end up somewhat <laughs> or worse. This killed me, literally, because you can apparently die or faint or pass out from being stung by wasps or bees. But again, the medication is available so that we can fix your 
terrible appearance. I love her hair. Okay, we're oh, I'm so, okay. I've got so excited. I knocked my. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got so excited. I knocked over my microphone. Um. Okay, we're gonna back up a little bit because hello. Are you serious? You have outside mushroom lamps that glow like that? What? What? <sighs> when I saw this the first time, I... I... I don't know. Ah, uh, I have always wanted like a little witchy town and I have always been so in love with the aesthetic of having like a deep forest witchy themed um town I, I yeah so this the addition of these they I make me the so happy oh. i just uh and look at him i think that's doby well, dark no that's lobo okay nope and then this, on your own. I thought that was, um, creatures might be lurking out not a radio, but like a, a, a music thing. The getaway and Wisp, a which so makes me happy because you can use it. amiibos, um, because sometimes you just have to kick an ugly vill villager like out, you just can't. The and then there's Gulliver, he's so cute. It's okay, yeah, so this is what I was talking about, being lost, but look, look at the way, look. You're here on the beach. There's the airport. There's your house. And then there's all the other animals. Like, it's not hard. I don't understand people sometimes. Although I can kind of, I, I get the appeal if you're all the way over here and you don't want to walk all the way back um, to, your, to your home or your tent, then you can just fast travel, I guess to um to your home but this is it's a really oh, cute way of implementing that i guess i guess i shouldn't be such a grump like these, it's best not to panic instead simply use the rescue service it's cute and the way that they talk about this <laughs> they're sending someone out to rescue you that's so cute that's nice that they have that kind of infrastructure <laughs> Services included in your package so far, there should be plenty to enjoy on the island already but if you want your in-game life to be even more okay we will offer a number of oh optional extras. extras okay that's right that's right number one does the environment seem a bit rough yes the environment is rough i'm stuff. going to need a little yes, bit more um other than that an option for you. i need a house. house it's perfect no Here we go, Tom Nook with his loans. No need to worry about for one. You get to be your very own interior designer. This I love. This I love. The fact that you can place your Oh, it's like Happy Home Designer. Which I again never got because I didn't think that it would be worth it because it was just a a spin-off but I can see where they took the inspiration um, from that game oh my god it's so cute and look she's got a little toaster beautiful I love that there are still windows in the main room the main room once you got um, Additional rooms or expansions to your house. They never had windows on the inside of the main room, and it felt really claustrophobic to me. So it was really, really nice to see. Hmm. Nick Miles tickets. And I guess. Okay, so this takes the place of um, Tortimer's Island, I'm pretty sure. Delta Oscar, Delta Oscar, Dodo. That's so cute. Oh. Okay, peaches. Very happy about this. You can take flowers, wood, fruit. Mm-hmm. That's a beautiful butterfly. I don't know what kind of butterfly. And this is fantastic. I love the fact that you... Oh! 
I always forget what that um I was gonna say hamster octopus's name is but he looks like takoyaki and he makes me hungry and he's so cute hang on let me see this guy I don't know what he's <laughs> look at her facial expression and I love this new mouth uh, I don't know if this mouth is something that you can use in the customization menu, but I love that mouth. It's cute. It reminds me of a kitty cat. Um, okay, here we go. Mm, Bamboo's back, so that's nice. Bamboo confirmed. And look at her heart glasses. I wonder how... I wonder how long it would take you to get your pole vault because it seems like having certain parts of the island restricted to you is uh, um, it's, it's not great. So, right. <laughs> there's just like a money island within an island. This would scare the crap out of me. Oh, look at how neatly these stupid villages, the, not the villages, but the houses, the tents. I don't know words. Look how neatly they're all placed and how well spaced. I'm not so excited about this. I mean, I'm obviously going to force my boyfriend to play with me a couple of games or a couple of hours and then we're going to go around. And I, oh, okay. Let's talk about how very, very slyly Nintendo has set this lineup so that way they can feature new eyes, new, I don't even know if those are new eyes, but new nose, definitely. Um, I think we've all seen that before. There's that cat mouth that I have been screaming about. Look at her shoes. Okay, moccasins, I'm dead. Mm, and I love these eyes. I don't know if these eyes are new. And look at the little blush. I think, do all the females, do all the girl avatars have blush? <gasps> oh, that's cute. Scarecrows are scary. I would never have them in my town. I don't know why anybody would do that. And then, <laughs> a little tires, that's really cute. You can swap leader. That's cute. You can go shopping. That's nice that you can monitor people. Um on your island and make sure that they're not doing anything weird and they have to follow you. Please make sure to stop by and pick them up later. That's nice. Number four. Oh, and the app. I don't know if I'm going to be um, putting the app on here I, don't know, I, I guess I'll be downloading the app just because it looks super cute and then I can always use oh yeah nope definitely gonna be downloading the app because I had already forgotten that you can use QR codes because I think the switch doesn't have um, a camera that's already been installed but this uh perfection when connected online Ooh, look. Okay, the bunny hoods that make you look like Tiffany and Chrissy, fantastic. And look at the butt fruit. I'm in love. Okay. Online smartphone app using your smartphone as a keyboard for voice chat. So cute. Nook Link is part Nook Link. Of Yep, that's going to have 80 billion downloads immediately. Honestly, I'm surprised that they've, they haven't run out of um, copies of the game. Because Animal Crossing is amazing. Yes, the destined future that awaits us all, Tom Nook. Yes, roll part two. And look at him clapping. He's so cute. He kind of reminds me of this dowdy old man that just kind of like puts about and does his own thing. Um, but he's like this secret millionaire and nobody knows it. And if you're really nice to him, then he rewards you. I never thought of him as like a, a tyrant. Oh, so cute. Look at her hairdo. Um, but yeah, look at him. I think he likes golfing or at least mini golf because you can see. That said, we don't want you to feel like we're inviting So, this is the part that I was talking about earlier about having Now, 
something interesting about the way that Tom Nook worded what he said. Wouldn't you know, out of the blue, we have three interested parties. Okay, so here we go. For some time now, I've been advertising the Nintendo Gateway package. Mm -hmm. And wouldn't you know, out of the blue, we have three interested parties. Now, quick question. Does that mean that we're going to have three villagers move in at the same time? Is that only in the beginning? Because you usually start off with five villagers. And once you get off of the um, Dodo Airlines plane, you only have the two villagers that you start off with. Whatever. It was It was earlier in the video. Um, or is it that you can choose from three different villagers that you want to come and stay? Um, I'm wondering about that. I'm really interested to know, um, and I guess we'll find out when we get the game. Or if Tom Nook decides to leak more information. Okay. Ugh, oh, how considerate. I love it. I am so happy. This makes me happy. You can still invite people in. I'm pretty sure there's a... Oh my god, yes. This... Look, 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 okay, campground, that's great, museum, that's fantastic, I love the way that the museum is so somber, um, you can still invite people to the island, that's perfect, okay, that's cranny, the Able Sisters, okay, I have been a big fan, number one fan of the Able Sisters. I love our resident Porcupine Sisters, Mabel, Sable, and LaBelle. <sighs> so, um, well, I guess Label, LaBelle, La depends on how you pronounce it and if you know the history of the Able Sisters. Um, but just, uh, I love them. I love the display window. I wonder if new clothes are going to be displayed there every time. The museum! Okay, let's talk about the museum because, again, I work at a pet shop and I am very, very invested in our fish section and I would kill to have our fish section look like this. Look at the shark. I think that's a mutt. I don't know what kind of fish that is. I'm a bad Animal Crossing player because I don't know. But look at this whale shark and like all these other things. Are those dolphins? Are those dolphins? We're gonna continue. Dinosaurs, and they're life size. <sighs> and look, okay, so is this a hint that Leaf is coming back? That we've got these flower pots in the back. Mabel mm, and Sable, look at the and the clothes displayed. <sighs> okay. Disgusting. I like that they have a tent now and they have, um, or not a tent, but a sleeping bag. But look, okay, so cute. And the butterfly, and look at all the flowers that they use. I wonder if you fill up the flowers as you, um, progress throughout the game. Like, I wonder if you can take all of these flowers and grow them and submit them for the museum that would be really cute like to collect all the flowers because I think this is a hibiscus bush or like some kind of hydrangea bush yeah hydrangeas um again I don't have a green thumb in real life so this is incredible I love seeing green stuff I love uh I love it all okay so you can still go into the cabinet that's fantastic and I love this that you can actually like look at, this, like, look at her and I love that the hats changed the shape of her hair. I just love it. Look. <laughs> you can try it on in this closet. This kind of reminds me of um, Pokemon, where you can go into the closet and try on different fashions. But I like that this is more streamlined. I like that this this you have all the options this way instead of listing them out and then you have tiny icons. This is much better, in my opinion. <sighs> okay, yes, 
you should definitely live here because I want everybody to live here even if you are an ugly hamster. Don't hate me. I have a hamster. That is an ugly hamster. Uh, and it looks just like Town Hall. I love it. Okay, we're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about this right now. What about your home you want to discuss? I want to relocate. You can literally pick up your house and relocate it somewhere else on the island. What the hell? I'm sorry. I don't usually swear on my channel. And uh, ever since YouTube changed their um, terms of service, I don't I don't know what they're doing. Um, I I've. I'm going to just insert some light swearing in here now. I swear a lot. Sorry. But what the hell? Um, I want to relocate. <sighs> Look at the roof. And you get a preview. You get a preview like this. Look at his hair. He looks like Kim Jong-un. <laughs> uh, okay. Look. Look at my beautiful, beautiful Isabel. Look at her. She looks so cute. Okay. And you know what? Something that I actually haven't seen are roses in the game. I might be stupid, and maybe I just haven't seen them, but I haven't seen roses in the game. I've seen tulips. I've seen, I think, what look like chrysanthemums, poppies. I've seen, like, the wildflowers that look, I think they're snapdragons. I can't remember, but they're like the droopy looking things, but I haven't seen roses. And roses are one of my favorite flowers in the game. <laughs> Your expressions, good morning. We'll lean on staff experience in providing operational support. I love Isabel. Oh my God. Discuss a resident. <laughs> I would always do that whenever I was trying to get rid of resident before I knew how to do that. Okay, hang on. We're going to talk about this in just a second. Um, but I would always talk about a resident if I wanted them to change their phrase or their shirt or something. Um, especially if I wanted to get rid of them because I didn't know that that was all it did. It didn't tell them to leave or like make them leave and just... Okay, here we go. I, I got side railed, but we're, we're gonna keep going. New residents, but okay. Also any guests. And Label changed her name back from Labelle uh, when she worked under Gracie to Label. And Harvey's back. Ugh. And he does have his own island, that is confirmed. Okay, so there's a magic wand. Oh, and you can cosplay! You get kimono to match Isabel. Okay, and then Sahara. Okay, look at her and her sweet. Look at her carrying it. Kicks is back. I'm very happy. Um, and CJ. This is confirmed to be CJ now. Yep. Um, I think everyone was calling him Chip Jr. La Isla. The island. Oh, Nintendo. And again. Searching for that perfect fruit. Okay, keep going. Alligators confirmed. Koalas and sheep, of course, confirmed. Okay, and Flick. Everybody was freaking out about Flick. I can't tell if it's a girl or a boy. Maybe non-binary. I'm not sure. I want to have the right pronouns, but the um, name seems to be pink. And I can't remember if they changed that to... Um, like the color of the color scheme of what the animal is because obviously Flick is red. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry. Free updates. We plan to Free updates thank God. <sighs> Alright, and so time traveling is a thing. Time traveling. Sure you'll agree that's I'm, I'm sorry, time traveling is not a thing just because I'm pretty sure the the cat oh, cat is one of my favorite villagers. She's so ugly, but when I first had her move into my town, she was so nice to me. She gave me medicine. I didn't even know there was medicine for like a bee sting, and then she gave some to me. And ladders and look at all this stuff. I hate this ugly gorilla. This. 
public works projects. I love it. Uh, look at all of these choices. You've got a log bridge, a suspension bridge, a stone bridge, a wooden bridge, brick. Oh, and look. Mm, look at the bridges. Okay, so that eliminates the need for vaulting tools, and ladders, things like that. Okay, so pansy table, so cute. Oh my god, roses! <gasps> I can't believe I missed them the first time, the first five times that I watched this. I'm so happy. Okay, now my life is complete. I'm happy. Uh. Okay, hang on. Let's talk about this breakfast menu down here. Excuse me? Breakfast menu? And roses. I'm dead. Okay, continue. And we all knew about the brick paths. We all knew about the stone paths. I am, and the Able Sisters is in the background. In addition, we can also provide you with a permit. A waterscaping permit. This, I died. Oh my god. You can make more clips. And landscaping. Look at the, you can have so many layers. Look at, you can jump over tiny rivers. What the heck? That, I need to watch that again. This isn't a reaction video, but every time that I come across... Okay, and Diana is so cute over there with her little purple dress, and she looks like she's carrying a little ice cream. Oh, she's one of my favorite villagers. I, uh, okay. So we're gonna... We're just gonna... This is way better than The Sims 4 Terrain Tools. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? As you've seen today, the deserted island getaway package offers you a wild new life surrounded by nature. Pick up a whole tree. Look at that. Relocated peaches. I need a perfectly planned community. Oh, it's so cute. And I love that the fences snap together. I love that you can have access to this secret beach. I love this. Look at your birthday pals. Oh, so cute. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, 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 okay. Look, look. Oh my god. Look, you have a snowflake on your door. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god. And is that a lion hat where you look like a lion? That's a hat where you look like an actual lion. And the hair. Oh my god, it's so cute. Okay. Another thing I want to talk about is look at how many items are out. Look, you've got a table. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fence thingies, 10, 11 bushes, a house, another garbage can. Like the amount of stuff. The amount of projects that you have, the amount of just items that you have. We're going to go back a couple of, um, look, okay. So you have all of this. This is just a nice little area, but you have so many things going on here. You've got ramp. You've got, you've got a ramp. I'm sorry. I'm bad at speaking. You have a bridge you have, or at least another ramp you have, um, a building here you have it's just there's so much stuff and I think you were limited in New Leaf to like 30 projects a game or something like that 35 I, I could be wrong it could be less it could be more but you were limited but just the capacity for this game to 
keep giving and giving. And look at these hybrids. I don't even know if that's a real hybrid. <sighs> okay. I, and I love that you can put things outside. Oh my god. Okay. I love this scene, but I just... I miss Isabel being there. I'm sorry. God, I'm sorry. I knocked over my microphone again. But I just, I miss Isabel and I want to see her. She was my very first real introduction to Animal Crossing. Um, I just, uh, I love her so much. Look! Look at all the stuff! Uh, the villagers still sleeping. And you can have a seashell wreath. Excuse me. <sighs> there go the dogs. Outside. My god, barking. Yes. Undivided attention. Yes, we do have a good picture of the gateway package. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Getaway package. Yep. Yep. We are already moving. We, are all, we already have a reservation. My plane ticket is booked. I am going. Oh, my god. Dogs barking forever. Oh boy, hang on. I'm so sorry, but that's just one of my pet peeves. <laughs> okay, back to the video. I'm sure this is like an hour long already. Okay, so this is the frequently asked questions. Um, Can I play the game together with my family? On a yes, that has already been answered. The frequently asked questions. Um, you're able to play with, I believe eight the other people of residents for an island is eight. yep but again only one island per nintendo switch so that means that you cannot amiibo? buy another game and then have another yes. island the game supports amiibo, amiibo is something that i'm very very excited about because i haven't yet started collecting them and i want to start collecting amiibos uh because then i can have my favorite villagers that's fantastic. You can also I need another reason to give um, Nintendo my money. This is fantastic. I love this. That you can cosplay this theater. This theater setup makes me so happy. Look at that screenshot. That's so cute. <laughs> and look at his evil laugh down here. Oh. Okay. DJ KK. You can't talk with him right now, so he's still in the game, but we can't visit him right now. Okay. Orville. And I think, what was the other one? Wilbur? Wilbur and Orville. I can't remember. Okay. This I love, because connecting with people, sometimes you would have people who were really rude and steal things from your island. Um, not that I had a very impressive island, um, but yeah. You can only use this tool when you're on a best island, best friends island, However, which is fantastic because then you can't have people coming in and tools. tearing down your trees. No you can have people digging up your um, flowers that you've worked so hard to um, pick up or um, not pick up, but grow. And then this one was, I think, what got people really angry because the save data is not supported. But, but... In the case of a defective or a lost console, a service will allow you to recover backed up save data from the server. Free updates, yes, that's good. And again, with the time travel thing, I'm pretty sure that's the reason why they're not allowing time travel is because every month or so that they're going to update um, the game. So I'm hoping that the events are very... Um, I hope they're long events. I hope that the events last for a long time because I'm not going to take time away from my family to come visit my town um, in real life uh, on actual on like actual Christmas Day. So that's one of the reasons why I love time traveling because now as an adult I get to play on my weekends or in the evenings and sometimes the events happen during the day so I just you know and of course follow Tom Nook at Animal Crossing on Twitter oh my god Isabel 
And then of course there's that lovely end screen where we get, oh, hello, a beautiful view of the island and the villager sleeping. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope that you gained a lot from this video. Maybe I pointed out some things that you didn't originally know about. Um, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just so excited um, to finally have news about this game. This is the most information that we have had in a long, 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 long time. Hopefully we'll be able to cover a little bit more as the um, day draws closer for March 20th, 2020. If you haven't already picked up your copy or pre-ordered, rather, pre-ordered pre pre your copy of Animal Crossing New Horizons, you definitely should. There are so many pre-order um, options out there. You just have to look. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.